Okay guys, so let's decompile Mirage. So let's begin by launching workshop tools. Let's create a new add-on. Edit Mirage. Create it. Now, let's open the add-on folder. Content CSGO add-ons. Edit Mirage. Make sure that you are on content. Alright, so let's open source 2 viewer. Here is Mirage. Double click it. Decompile and export. Continue. And we need to go to the add-on folder. Select the folder. This is going to take a while. Let's close it. Now let's decompile it to skyboxes. Mirage happens to have two 3D skyboxes. We'll decompile those two. Same thing, decompile and export. Select the same folder. Rates. In the second skybox, same thing. Before we launch Hammer, you need to go into Edit Mirage, the Anon folder, open maps. And in here, you have content examples. It's also created by default, so we're going to delete that one. We don't need it. And there's the VBAP also that was created by default. So this one, we're going to copy its name, and you want to delete it. And so the Mirage, you need to change it. If you do not change it, what's going to happen is that you're not going to be able to run the map after you compile it. And this is the navigation mesh we're going to delete as well. We don't need that. And inside prefabs, we have these skyboxes. All right, so now let's open up the add-on. Okay, great, so here's the entire map. Now, the good news is that when you decompile maps today in the Source 2, you can recompile them considerably fast. Now, in the Source 1, if you wanted to compile Mirage, it would take you like at least 24 hours, maybe 12 if you have a very strong computer. Now, with the Source 2, because lighting is calculated differently, it only takes maybe 2 or 3 hours, maybe even less than that if you have a strong computer. So, here's the entire map, and you can even see the 3D skybox over there. And here you can see that it's referencing the Mirage Legacy Skybox. So let's have a look at the second one. I mean, this is a Skybox, obviously, but it's not even selected to be Skybox. Very strange, very unusual. My guess is that they forgot to delete it before making the map available to everyone. You can recompile this map, do it whatever you want, explore it, learn from it. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.